Hi, I'm Sean Connery. And I'm Hugh Jackman. We're from Metal Roofing Online. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the corrugated iron. I'll go to that top end. Okay, you want to get that foil just into the gutter. So does it need to come my way a bit? Yeah, yeah about, about 20 mil into the gutter you want it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can always cut it at the end of the Stanley knife as long as you're in there 20 mil, yeah. Okay, now pop a couple of spotties in that just in each corner. Uh, the reason we're using this isolation foil is because we're going to line the underneath of the ceiling. If you're going to leave it open, then there's no point using the foil, just, just keep it with the corrugated sheets. Okay there? Yep. Just the one, mate. <laughs> oh, I like that one too, so now it doesn't go on. Yeah. But, um, yeah. One should be plenty. <laughs> Give me a sec here. I've got five minutes. Just use the back of your hammer. That's what the claw's there for, mate. And we want to lap them over about a hundred mil. Yep. Back your way if you can, mate. Yep. All good? Just one this time. Yeah, just the one on just each one corner, mate. Yeah. Should be heaps. Yeah, well, the sheets will hold it down. Okay, that'll do for now. We'll start laying the sheets. I'll hop up there if you pass me one, mate. We just want to run that sheet down the edge of the inside of the fascia. And we need to get it 50 mil into the gutter. Is this about right? Yeah, that looks perfect, mate. Okay, can you pass me my drill, please, Aiden? Nah, the other one, mate. Thank you. Still okay where it is? Well, it's totally gone over a bit. Yeah, you can shuffle it a bit if you like. Yeah. Happy there? Spot on, mate. Okay, next shape. Just find the centre of your baton and just mark it on the underlap there. Now while you're laying these sheets, you don't want to put too many screws in them. It's best to put all the screws in at the end. Just 
check that other side for me there. Just make sure it's still about 50 mil. Yeah, yep. Yeah, mate, next sheet. Now that we're halfway, I might just do a check with the tape, the tape measure and just see if we're running square to the end. 1970. Yeah, it's about five mil different, so I'll just creep this bit. That's what's good about these corrugated sheets. You can just creep them a little bit, not too much. Okay, we need a bit of foil, please. Okay, now the next sheet, please. Okay. I'll just check how we're going again. Okay, now last bit of foil, please. You just take it to the edge of the fascia and lap it underneath the sheet, mate. Just pull it back. Yep, that's it. All okay there? Damo, I've got a job for you, mate. Thank you. This is Damo. He's How you going, guys? Expert delivery guy slash flashings man. How are you? What can I do for you, Daz? Oh, I just need you to cut this foil back because Aiden's just hung it into the gutter a bit too much here. Yep. You can just cut it back a bit to about just up, just underneath these sheets would be good, mate. No worries at all. Uh, another sheet, please, Aiden.
Yeah, just try and cut it so we can't see it, yeah. <laughs> Don't let him pick on your height, mate. You're perfect. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to cut this last sheet. Okay, so you've got two options at the end here. You can lap the sheet as per normal, which is one and a half corrugations, the lap, and then cut the edge, which I'm about to do. Or you can back lap the sheet to, you know, lap it to as many corrugations as you need to. I prefer to cut the sheet um, because it can cause condensation if you lap the sheets too many times. So I need to measure from the center of this rib here which will be the center of the overlap of my other sheet. That's gonna be 500 mil. Just check it at the top here. Yep, exactly the same. So I'll jump down and I'll cut that sheet. So as I said, when I was up there, this is from the center of the overlap. So we need 500 mil, which is gonna be right there. I'll cut it from the other side because I've got my right hand snips which I prefer and it's going to be easier coming down that side of the corrugation. Okay, our last sheet. Could you just pass it to me, please, Aiden? Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, now there's a couple of things we need to do next. Uh, we need to turn up the end of the corrugated iron. Um, have you got my Stanley knife, Aiden? I think Damo had it, didn't he? Yeah. Could you cut back the edge of the foil, please, along there? Just along the top of the, yeah, that'll be fine. You might find it easier if you do it from above. Yeah. And we've got to turn up the end of these sheets, which is a really good idea on any kind of roof, but especially because this one's quite a flat roof. It's only five degrees, which is actually the minimum pitch the corrugated can be laid on. It can be laid any quite steep roofs, but on a flat roof, only down to five degrees with the corrugated. Just make sure you turn the end of these sheets up like that. Take my tool belt off, it's a bit awkward.
We're just gonna need that chalk line next, Aiden. Okay, now we're ready to put all the screws in. Hold on mate, I'll just move this. Okay. If you pop down the end here, we're going to try and line this up through the middle of those screws. Try not to get chalk all over the roof. Okay. You can come back to the edge there if you like. Beautiful. Next one. Yep. Thanks, Hugh. Okay, as for the screw pattern on the corrugated iron, we're located in, well, we're doing this in Melbourne at the moment, so our screw pattern in Melbourne is every second corrugation on the bottom batten and the top batten, and your middle ones is miss two, miss three, so that you finish back on the overlap. But in Queensland, for instance, the bottom batten and the top batten You've got to go every corrugation because the winds are a bit higher there and then every second corrugation in your middle battens okay did you get that aiden yeah mate every second in melbourne every every one in queensland perfect mate perfect now i won't be screwing off the um the top batten in this episode i'll screw that one off once we put the capping over the end because the screws go right through the top of the capping so there's no point doing it right now it's not very nice Sorry mate, this is a bit boring, isn't it? Say something funny, Aiden. The reason I'm not allowed to screw anything into the corrugated iron is because before this take I screwed it into the car. About that joke you told me the other day, why'd the chicken cross the road? Corrugated iron 
Maybe you can show everyone why you're the greatest showman. I can't because I know I was starting that movie, but I haven't seen it. I don't need to see it to be the greatest. That's what the movie's about, isn't it? That's right. Good movie. Well done, mate. Could you pass me just a handful of screws, please? James Bond, I think. One out of four, or five or four. I don't think you've drunk mm. Mark Hamill's mate. I don't remember how many of those Bond movies I was in. Are these screws in a straight enough line? You happy, mate? What do you mean? Well, the story behind that is the sheets are leftovers from jobs, so I didn't really want to pay for some new materials that we didn't have to, so if yeah, we just mix and match the colours. Probably not the colour scheme most people are going to go for, but um. It's a DIY video, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Let's get rid of those screws. Look, it's a good idea once you've finished a job like this to, um, to give it a blow down um, with a one of those air blower things or a sweep down with a brush or something to get rid of all this swarth because if it rains it will cause little rust stains on your roof so try and get rid of it try and get rid of it once you've finished um, but that's basically how to install a, a corrugated roof on a timber frame uh, thanks for your help again Aiden pleasure as always good mate good okay um, be sure to subscribe to our channel metal roofing online um, if you're after any more hints or how to do stuff um, please comment in the in the box at the bottom there and we'll try and try and help you out thank you